What's up, world? It's action. Fredo. It's your boy, LC. You heard I got a fresh piece of gum, and I'm going to try not to chew your ears off. But I needed it because I just ate this coconut bar, and I ain't trying to be spewing on my man. Man. Listen, so. yesterday we did Stray Kids My Pace. Shout out Michaela from North Carolina. That was a super slap. So I'm excited yes. for Stray Kids. Right now they're my number one. And uh, on this journey, I could say that we've kind of strayed away from picking favorites just because all of this is so much fire. Yeah. But I am, I do have seasonal favorites. And right now, Stray Kids is up there for me. They're number one for me. That's dope, man. I like uh, Double Nut. I go with the Double Nut. I play it Stray every day. Kids. Yeah, yes, man. Yes, I play it every day. Um, yeah, like you said, I hate to say favorites because – I can sit here and tell you EXO is my favorite, but then you'll look at me like, you don't really like NCT like that? Yeah, I do. Like, I like BTS, too. Like, they're dope, too. Um, mm -hmm. I just like the fact that our journey has led us to so many different bands and perspectives and styles and genres. Like, yeah, this has been awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, Stray Kids is definitely among the top for me as well. Yeah, just to piggyback off what you said, I've never found this much good music this fast in my life. Like, normally, yeah. I would have found NCT, and then a couple months later would have found XO. And then a couple months later found yeah. Stray Kids. Like, we're taking it all in at once. Um, yeah. We actually got this from our moderators. We were looking around in the Discord, and they pinned the list. So we're going to call this the Mod Squad Monday we're just going to do their three requests because they are working so hard. They remind us, like, that's hey, you M. guys. Yeah, that's a. Oh, what was you doing? I was looking up at the sky. Oh, that's an M for Mod Squad. Mod Squad. Mod Squad. Mod Squad. Um, anyways, they were working. They've been working so hard keeping you guys' suggestions organized. I mean, they remind us when we mess up on things like, hey, in the website, you kind of cut off one of the bubbles. Or, hey, LC, don't forget to do this. Like, Bravo to you guys. Like, you guys are excellent. Yeah, we couldn't do this without you guys. We really man. couldn't. And I look forward to growing with you guys more opportunities for us and you mm -hmm. together. Because mm -hmm. that's what it's all about, man. You know, we're just listening to music and connecting with people. And some people are really just jumping on in our corner. And we can't thank you guys enough for that. Right on, right on. Uh, let's jump into it. Cool. This video is super cinematic, man. Mm -hmm. What is it though? Like that's the most popular haircut. Like, yeah, what, what is that like, called? It's like a bowl. It's cut. like it is the bowl cut. We used to cut on people with bowl cuts in school. Mm -hmm. Now it's in. Yeah. 
I wouldn't be mad if the whole song was like this part right here. Like, I like the smooth beat. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really throwing me off with a lot of the switch ups. Mm -hmm. I like the lyrics. The The best part of this song to me is the lyrics. It's talking about um, pretty much the, the journey and the headaches that come with it. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wish the song had less. It's too big of a difference between that, like techno part of the song, and then the smooth R and B side of the song. It's throwing me off. It's hard to blend the house and R and B. That's what it is. That's is that, what is I that, think is it, it is. House. Yeah, that. I call it techno. So yeah, they play the like. If you ever go to certain clubs, like they'll they'll keep you dancing and keep you moving because like a lot of those mixes like a straight house mix will keep that same beat to where like no matter what you're doing you got a beat to go to it's not like a big switch up so that's why when that R&B part drops it's kind of throwing us off another thing I'm concerned about is they're on this jungle ride and there's no screens protecting them so like I don't want a lion or a cheetah or somebody <laughs> to just come grab one of them up out of there they need more protection yeah uh, the lyrics are everything and it's typical you know, thinking with any, with, you know, typically how we would think is, you know, oh, I'm going to start a business or I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to get in shape. And your initial thought is like, oh, it's going to be easy, especially if you see somebody else do it. Like somebody, yeah. somebody might look at our reaction channel and be like, Psh, I can do that. I could sit there and just give my opinion on music. Oh, really? But can you sit here and set up all this equipment? Can yeah. you, you know, do the dialogue in between uh, talking to the fans and scheduling different reactions and keeping things organized. Not only that, like the other factors of time away from your family and yeah. other things that we've sacrificed. So these lyrics are everything. Feeding the fish. Feeding the fish because they <laughs> will start fighting. Yeah. The funniest thing in one of the videos, because uh, I was sitting at home and I was just like, all right, let me just go back and because we don't get a chance to watch all these videos because we just keep going. But there was one video and I should have saved the title. The fish in the back. We must have forgot to feed them, bro. They were banging. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. my god!" They were just bro. going at it. I remember you told me, and I noticed <laughs> that, too, man. That's hilarious. Going ham. But, yeah, Stray Kids is dope, man. I, th I feel like, you know, they make – they got – music is subjective, you know. They've mm -hmm. got a lot of different styles of songs. And like I said, like, they're still, like, one of my favorites. Oh, easily. But yeah. this yeah. one just is not doing it for me. It's just – the lyrics are awesome and amazing. And another thing too that um, Michaela yep. from North Carolina, we reacted to Stray Kids, um, uh, my pace, my pace with her. Um, she was just telling us some background on them, like their story, their journey, the fact that they're coming up with their own lyrics, and I'm like, that's amazing because I, I'm hearing their testimony in these lyrics, and it's resonating with me. Yeah, for so, sure. I mean, and like I said. So far, this isn't a song that, you know, you're going to hear me playing around the studio or in the car when I'm driving. It might make the workout playlist just because I could see myself running on a treadmill or doing like a high intensity training to it. But um, I mean, Stray Kids right now is, is number one for me just from Double Knot and My Pace and some of their other tracks. Uh, but this is the first time I'll say that, you know, this isn't one of my favorite tracks from them. And that's OK. They still do excellent work. Um, still very proud of these young fellows and the lyrics are everything, man. It is a direct correlation to the thinking that becomes involved with taking any risk with doing anything different with, you know, going out on a limb. It's like, at first you're all excited and you're like, I can do this. And then it's just like, why am I all in for myself? But like, I'm still having these thoughts or it's hard. Yeah. So the fact that I look at their profession, uh, their perfectionist or I'm trying to think of the right word. Professionalism? Professionalism. Yeah. And, like, I'm looking at it like it's great, but they still have those doubts and stuff. Mm -hmm. It kind of just makes me – it, it kind of relates to me because I'm like, okay, I feel the same way. Yeah. You know, the self-criticalness about, you know, putting my own music out and doing – you know, even getting on camera to react. 
it just kind of makes me feel like, all right, if they feel that way and I feel that way and they keep going, I'm going to keep going. For sure. Right. I don't need to say anything else. <laughs> It's like the video so far is even just starting to clear. They got a flat tire. Now they got to get off and walk on this road and keep yeah. going. You know what I'm saying? So. Now they're running. Wow. I think that's a theme in their video. Though. I think theme that before. I bet I could beat them all in a race, too. I bet I could <laughs> The choreo, yeah, the fighting choreo is crazy. <laughs> I like those uh, mirror looking things too. Oh, well, oh, we still got it. They really be making movies with these videos, bro. They think it's funny that they man's passed out. He out of shape. I like the swagger. It's like a Forever 21 commercial right there. Yeah, look at my man. He's got those patches on his shirt. That's crazy. What's that the key to? Stray kids are right, everywhere. Stray kids stay. I like the concept of Stray Kids as a band, man. Like, I like the name. I like the fact that they're like all rebels that have joined together. Yeah. Like they were thrown out or discarded by society and they came together as Stray Kids to make a unit. Mm -hmm. I like that concept. That's dope. Yeah. I agree to that. Yeah. Well, uh, like I said, man. Uh, I think we're both in agreement. Yeah, man. I I feel like I've been being a negative Nancy today because the past two songs really just didn't do it for me, man. That's okay. But both are, like, top on my favorites. Yeah. I mean, if I had a grading scale of, you know, quality music, I mean, I'm sure this is someone's favorite song. Kudos to you. But we're just giving our opinion on our personal flavor. Yeah. And as much as you guys know that I love Stray Kids and you saw me going crazy for the other ones, this is the first one where I was kind of just like, eh, all right. But mm -hmm. it's the same thing with uh, the Pentagon. I kind of wasn't feeling Basquiat. And then we did, uh, what was that Pentagon oh. song that we did yesterday? Oh. I can't I'm going to see if I can it. remember the name. That Dr. BB. Dr. B. 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 That was fire. And it, it changed my whole perception of the band because the first time we watched that Basquiat, I saw it so many times requested in my DMs, and I just was underwhelmed when I watched it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, eh, maybe we can do some Pentagon maybe later down the road. And the next day, this guy comes in like, let's do Pentagon again. I'm like, you sure? Yeah. And then it slapped us, and I'm like, "Oh, okay, that's what we needed right there. Like, yeah. that's fire. That's the that's what we call a slap back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You might have messed up the first <laughs> time, but you came back still slapping. You know what I'm saying? And we're yeah, like, man. okay, okay, okay. Like, you connected with us, got you for sure, man. Yeah, we want to thank everybody for the love and support, man. We're headed to fifty thousand subscribers. The support has been amazing and unreal." Yeah, it's been crazy. And we've consolidated everything down to just um, our higher faculty website. So if you go on our website and you click the bubbles, that first one is the Patreon and then the Discord. And then we got the K Popathon playlist. We've got our Facebook page. We've got our Twitter, our Instagram. So it's a one stop shop now. You could just click on higherfaculty.com in the description, and that'll take you to any of our other socials are ways to connect with us because for some reason the links kept getting like corrupted data or something. They were putting dots behind the URLs and it kept messing up. And yeah. I went through yesterday and had to go and change every single video that we did. So it should be good to go. So anybody who was messaging me, whether you sent me a DM or a message link in the premiere to let me know that the links are broken, you, my friend, are the real MVP. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Enough said. My name is Action Fredo. It's your boy, LC. You heard. Peace.
You heard?